30th December 2024, ISRO launched uh, PSLV C60 carrying two satellites, uh, CD1 and CD2 for uh, SPEDEX mission. These two satellites were launched at 550 km orbit and they were spatially separated by about uh, 5 to 6 kilometers and they distanted themselves to 20 kilometers over a period of uh, time. These satellites were uh, brought back, clo brought closer in the sense they were uh, brought closer and then uh, the experiment of uh, docking uh, should have happened and it was expected to have happened on 7th of uh, January 2025. When the satellites are separated at 20 kilometer uh, orbit, uh, they are on the same line but they are spatially separated by 20 kilometers. They were brought down to 12, 15 kilometers, 10 kilometers, 5 kilometers and to 2.5 kilometers and then 1.5 kilometer. From 1.5 kilometer on, there is what is called as laser, laser ranging, laser uh, based, uh, you know, movement of the two satellites. And this laser uh, uh, docking system will be active uh, till about uh, 100 meters when the proximity sensing and the proximity docking systems gets into effect. Therefore, the satellites uh, have been brought down and uh, they have been brought closer to about 3 meters and at the 3 meters the complete AI based automatic um, docking system gets activated where uh, this, uh, the um, spatial distance between the two satellites will be checked then the velocity between the two satellites will be checked then the, the orientation of the satellite uh, will be checked and the sufficiency of the sun and the orientation of the sun towards the satellites and sufficient energy uh, of the satellite uh, for the satellites to dock will be completely checked and once all the parameters are met then only the docking clearance will be given. If even the slightest of the slight uh, mismatch in the required uh, specification to the uh, actual measured values if the difference is there it, the automatic uh, docking uh, sequence whatever is there would uh, would not allow the satellite to dock because if it allows it should not um, you know end up in disaster crash therefore the satellites are uh, uh, you know brought together and ensured that all the parameters are met then only the docking is allowed but isro has been trying to do it for last uh, several days and because of some you know uh, some sort of observation in sensors, actuating systems, and the proximity docking system, the uh, the docking has been temporarily suspended. But the experiments are continuing, the simulations are continuing, and uh, the entire system of docking is uh, in uh, progress. Uh, so, if we see uh, ISRO is fully prepared and it might uh, be successful to uh, do the docking anytime. In, in the coming days, two to three days or four days or whatever it is. We must understand one thing is that the visibility of these satellites the at 550 kilometer orbit is only for 20 minutes over the Earth, uh, over the uh, Indian uh, ground stations. During that time only, major operation of the uh, docking can happen. Beyond that, we call it as uh, the non-visibility area. So, non-visibility area is the area time when the satellites will be separated and kept at a safe distance so that during the non-visibility area, the satellite doesn't collide and uh, create a disaster. This is what is happening and ISRO is playing a very safe and a very uh, you know, professional game in terms of handling these satellites, bringing them together when there is visibility, separating them when there is non-visibility is what is happening. Uh, therefore, uh, as, as far as the docking is concerned, up to 22nd of January, uh, around that uh, time when the visibility of sun will be good when the orientation of the uh, satellites, the movement of the earth and everything uh, matches before 22nd of January, uh, the docking should happen 